TSM 9 News is your local election headquarters and District 2 candidates Veronica Carbajal and Joshua Acevedo now facing a runoff after special election results showed just a four vote separation. Thank you for choosing KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Andy Morgan. And I'm Natasha Paloma Carvajal. Narrowly led the race with 778 votes in Acevedo, followed with 774 votes. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto spoke with both candidates today as we await early voting for the runoff race. Skylar. Andy Natasia, this race has narrowed down to two candidates. Now, neither of the finalists were able to reach the 50% needed to avoid this runoff. But after speaking with both candidates today, they tell me it's disheartening to see low voter turnout. There's so much at stake in this election that we need to get out and vote one more time. Joshua Acevedo, an EPISD school board trustee, and attorney Veronica Carvajal now going head to head after neither candidates were able to reach 50% of votes in December's special election. The two separated by only four votes. Every single vote matters. Um, now that we're down to two candidates, we know that um, we expect that there'll still be a low turnout in January because um, people are not expecting to vote. Acevedo says it's disheartening to see low voter turnout. I, I think it's also um, it's a it's a bad time of the year to have um, an election. I'm hoping that once we get to January, the holidays are um, past us and more people will be paying attention and they'll decide to go cast a vote um, for the District 2 special election. The two advocating for a number of things like making the best of taxpayer dollars, improving neighborhoods, preventing increases to property taxes, and finding the right new city manager. I think the, the biggest thing is that we need to do it as a community. We cannot go and tell residents what we're going to do without their input. Now, both candidates say it is extremely important that people go out and vote, and whoever wins this election will serve out the rest of Alexandra Anello's term on city council in 2024. Live in central El Paso, I'm Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News. Skyler, thank you. And early voting for the runoff begins January 3rd through January 16th. There is no voting, though, on Monday, January 15th due to Martin Luther King Day. Election Day is Saturday, January 20th. For more information on elections or the candidates, visit our website, ktsm.com.